Uh, good afternoon. Um, uh, I want to welcome you to the University of Zambia School of Education Department of Library and Information Science. Um, we have uh, a course, we are running a series of lectures uh, in a course called LEAS 2010, that is Organization of Information uh, Resources. This course is meant for second year students uh, who are pursuing a Bachelor of Library Information Science and also it is uh, taken by students who are doing a Bachelor of Records uh, uh, and Archival Management. Um, this course is meant uh, for, to, to enable students to understand uh, cataloging, uh, classification, and information retrieval. It's a very important course. It prepares our students uh, that when they graduate, they should be able to organize information in libraries and also in uh, uh, record centers and uh, to some extent in uh, registries and archives. Uh, as I said earlier, that we will be running a series of lectures in this course. It is a full-time course that runs for a complete academic year. It's not a half course. And so it's, it's quite uh, it, um, a lot of uh, uh, materials on it. Uh, we have put these materials, the lecture materials, on our website in Moodle, which is a, uh, a learning management uh, uh, system or platform. Uh, we have some of materials uh, in PowerPoint slides, some materials uh, modules, uh, uh, and some are full text materials. So uh, to start with today, uh, we will look at um, uh, our first lecture, what is a, a catalog? And we are referring to a library catalog because there are many types of catalogs. So we'll look at library catalog. What is this, a li what's a library catalog? We'll also look at the functions of a library catalog. And um, uh, we will basically look at the functions of a library catalog from a user's point of view and also from the library staff. How do they use it? Uh, then we will look at the um, uh, criteria for uh, judging a, a good catalog. That's where we will end today. Okay. So let's begin with uh, what is a, a catalog? A catalog, uh, generally speaking, is uh, an inventory of things uh, organized in a systematic um, manner or a, prop, a particular order. This inventory of things can be an inventory of, uh, of objects or things that have been manufactured, for example, by a particular company of uh, an inventory of, um, of uh, materials being, products being sold by a particular company. For example, you have, you know, a company selling uh, 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 shoes. It can provide a catalog of the types of shoes that they are selling. It can provide a catalog. You can have a, an automobile, you know, um, company providing an inventory of the types of of vehicles, uh, models that they are selling, and so on. But uh, in terms of a library catalog, this is uh, a specialized type of uh, listing or inventory of what a particular library owns or the materials. Uh, uh, owned by a particular uh, library. Um, these materials can be books, can be uh, maps, and, and other cartographic materials. It can be audiovisual materials like uh, uh, compact discs, it could be uh, music. So all materials that are owned by a particular library are listed the, uh, in a particular order. Uh, that is a catalog. Now, what is the purpose of, uh, uh, of a catalog? Well, before I look, I talk about the purpose of a catalog, 
We can have also a, a, an inventory or a listing of um, collections owned by two or more libraries. Now that type of a catalog is called a union catalog because it lists collections of more than one library. For example, collections of um, the University of Zambia Library, collections of uh, the Copper Belt University Library, and collections of, uh, say, Mulungush University Library. So all these collections, if they are put together in one listing, then it becomes a union list. So um, now, having briefly looked at um, uh, what a library catalog is, let's look at um, the functions of a library catalog.